you know, and what their slogan, they're selling us poison essentially. Yet hungover on Sunday mornings, we'll queue up like fucking zombies and walk in the door of the place. And at no point have they told us it's any good. Have they? At no point have they told us, come on in, it's great. They haven't. Their slogan is, I'm loving it anyway, so whatever you're into yourself, sure. Uh... <laughs> I'm fucking loving it. I own it, you know what I mean? You own the joint and you're telling them, my place is class to me. Uh, and you can come in if you fucking feel like it. That's it. <laughs> Their new one is, taste is everything. It's not. <laughs> Health is more important than that, but, you know, fair fucks to you, you're still only, you're entitled to your opinion. I know their new one is, you know, they say everything, you know, their, their beef is 100% beef. Granted, 50% of that could be made up of cows fucking broken dreams, but you know what I mean? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that work, Tom? I know. I don't know. It's always been a thing. I, 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 it's just blown me away. Like it's always been the thing that's always made me think. Like it doesn't matter what you're selling. It doesn't matter what you're selling. So long as you've the balls to just drive it, male or female, it doesn't matter. Just so long as you have brass fucking neck, you could walk into the Dragon's Den with a cube of concrete. <laughs> that fucking voiceover artist here in the corner. There you go. <laughs> I'm bringing him on the day. <laughs> but you just put it up there. What to do? Nah. Really? Yeah, but Justin Timberlake sings his class, so fuck it. Let's get on board. <laughs> Isn't it? Think about the shit down through the years. Think about the shit down through the years that should have never made it to a shelf. The kind of stuff that just, how did it make it out of the first day out of the factory? How did it make it out of testing? Who were the first fuckers to think it was a good idea to use aftershave? Immediately aftershave. <laughs> there isn't a worse time in a fucking day to actually use that. Any other time, bar immediately after shaving. For any of the ladies here who've never shaved their faces. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you tried steroids or something. I don't know, maybe it was a thing. It's essentially like a, a dose of sunburn and somebody gives you some fucking green diesel to cool it down. That's essentially what it is. It does, uh, the most sensitive thing. you just strip skin off here fuck this roast <laughs> punch in your face <laughs> there is I, and I, I try, I, I'd love to know I'd love to find out that and just discover that it was two Irish bollocks back in the day like, <laughs> 1700s or something one's, at, one's just a gobshite you just have to get a new job that needs to shave every day now you know nice and close to one of those straight razors his mate happens to be a scientist turns to his mate hell shit <laughs> <laughs> By, by any wild chance, have you invented and done an out and cooled my fist? Just tell you one thing, Massey, you're in fucking luck, Horace. Look at this. We're after inventing that stuff there, look at it. it smells nice and all. Oh, look there, what do I do? Did I show your face? How's your face feeling? She's just roast. <laughs> Wouldn't be a better time, kid. Ash it on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, mother of Jesus. Ah, Jesus Christ, that stuff. Oh, fuck it. Ah, Jesus, that's some fucking stuff. Get me ten bottles of it straight away. Like, how? It obviously finished with some poor fucker rolling around the floor and somebody went, I should have, that's fine, yeah, yeah, no bother, yeah, put that on the shelf. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, and it still fucking went for it. It couldn't be a dread. Like, so, like, if you think about it, it's uh, the balls of even naming it. It's the cheekiest stuff. What do I call it? Oh, sure, for now, I suppose you can call it Aftershave. Because <laughs> that is the laziest name of a product in the fucking history of products. You haven't named a product, you just call it the situation it's in. <laughs> like a shovel, it's called a shovel. It's not called a fucking hole joke, you lazy bastard. Like, Ronsi will make varnish, they don't make after sanding. <laughs> it's just a name, I like. So don't even name it. Don't even make it any fucking use. Just have the neck to get it on a shelf somewhere, and some fucking idiot somewhere is going to buy it. Get Matthew McConaughey on board, just start it. It's fine. And I'd, lo I'd love to work for a ballsy company like that. Somebody, you know, when you work for a company that produces any product, they'll say they're number one or they're kind of the best at it or they're this or that. I'd love to work for somebody who's shit. And they know they're shit. And there's a bit of pride in that. I'd love to work for somebody like Big. <laughs> Everybody knows who Bick are. Yeah? Making those shit pens. 
Ball to those fuckers. They have never even tried to compete with the top of the market. They're just after your inner scumbag. That's what they're going after. Like, once upon a time, you bought a good pen and you refilled that fucking pen and you mined it. Then these dirty scumbags came along with 50 in a box. <laughs> just that slutty vibe off there, like they're half and talking to you, going, sure, it's fine, you can fuck half us out the window on the way home, sure, it's fine, you still have 25 pence. <laughs> and sure, you can chew the head off of Teresa and Bridget over there, sure, it's fine, give me to the dog, it's grand, it's grand, we're just a dirty old shitty pen. <laughs> this is the thing, they just, they don't care. Like, they just, they have just released surfboards. I swear to God. The fucking balls to go from biros to surfboards. <laughs> to just go, fuck it, I give it a go. <laughs> what if they don't work? Grand, we're big. Doesn't make a fucking difference. The one yoke you don't want breaking in the fucking middle of you using it is a surfboard. It's just dissolving away to seal water as you sink down, you're roaring back to your mate on the fucking back on the shore. Here, throw us in another one. I brought a box of 50 of these yokes. Fuck it. <laughs> you chew on the fucking top of this surfboard, you bollocks. Jesus. It's not working, blowing the end of it, so fuck it. <laughs> they don't care. People like that just don't fucking care. And I'd love to know like what it's like the day they're coming up. Like the day they went for surfboards, or the day you go for anything. Because there's such a variance of just shite that they're just going, fuck it. And how did they get so big? We all know who they are. How did they get so big? Because they just don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. And I can't imagine there's a normal table of genuine engineers and whatnot sitting around coming up. I'd say they're just throwing it out to anybody in the factory. Anyone? Just some goat sweeping down the back one. Hey, I have an idea! Grant, have you been drinking, Mike? And they have been. Oh no, I'm not giving out to you, I'm just going to have you been drinking. Fair enough. What is it? Do you know where we're on rib and they can shit pens? Yeah, it's kind of our thing actually, yeah, yeah. And then tiny little lighters. Uh, nobody can touch us for those little lighters. I'm thinking we take the shit plastic from the pins. The shit metal from the lattice. And we give a go at making shit fucking razors. What you think about that? <laughs> the balls that the net that fucking took. <laughs> to not even try and finish up with a fucking razor. Just a bit of yellow plastic and some sheet iron rammed in the fucking end of it. <laughs> like a razor shaves the hair off your face. It doesn't fucking try and kill you. Like that's tearing lumps out of your fucking skin as you just crying into the fucking mirror like like imagine a CEO the size of the conquerors on a CEO <laughs> fucking like how much fucking ego he must have to the point where because he doesn't give a fuck about his products he's no pride that one he just hates the world and all he wants is money just imagine some fucking bloke just just like 45 stone just staring out the window at his office like three ribs of hair just flopping in the air park. Not wearing trousers, because why the fuck would you when you work three million? You're just standing there just airing herself out going, yeah. Oh yeah. Looking at a robin or something on a tree, just going, I genuinely couldn't care if that fucking died right now. I really couldn't. Oh yeah. Some poor new scientist comes in after the, re the razor tests have just been done. Sir, uh, we have to test back from the razors. Won't even, quite, won't, even, won't even grant the lad a look around. Oh yeah. How did that go? Sir, it was an absolute shit show. There's a... Uh, 80 te test subjects will come back cut to shit. <laughs> Two of them are fucking died down there, sir. They're bleeding all over the fucking place. There's shit and piss everywhere. It's a total fucking nightmare. <laughs> Without even blinking. That's crap. <laughs> sir, I don't think you heard me. Uh, Jesus Christ, 80 people are fit to... Do you know what I mean? We're, we could lose them all, sir. It's an absolute fucking... And it's listen to me now, Jeff. My name isn't Jeff. I don't give two fucks. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Just be glad I gave you a fucking name. <laughs> Or how is it going to be grand? Yeah, you're about to learn a lesson about here and thinking. When I say it's grand, <laughs> it'll be fucking grand. How? Because we'll put enough of them into the fucking bag. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that. That's all they're doing. They're ramming enough pieces of shit into a bag so that your inner scumbag doesn't fucking come out. Like, you're never going back into Sparrow with one of those razors. Bits of tissue stuck all over your fucking face. <laughs> going in with one of these yellow and white jokes. Going, here, this fucking yoke fucking cut the head off me. Is your man behind the counter just who, yes, it is a fucking big razor. Are you stupid? It's, uh, I would not peel fucking potatoes with that piece of shit. <laughs> you would better off getting a fucking shotgun trying to shoot the hair off your face. Wouldn't you? Just the neck of him. I'll finish up. Anybody here?
or a teacher? Oh, somebody's going to dress up somebody here. 